I'll give you four options for your portfolio today. Down 1%, down 2%, roughly around 5% or more. I believe your answer would be somewhere between 2 to 5% and you are not alone. 90-95% retail had the same fit today. While it was around the board kind of selling, oil was singled out today. What spooked the market? BPCL, HPCL results were not good. Now look at the headline. Net profit slumps on weak refining margins, expenses rising. Now look at the fine print. Our friend change in inventories. This is BPCL consolidated minus 6,292 becoming minus 3,000. So there is a difference of 3,200 crores. You add that to 2,300 crores. What is 3,200 of the combined number? This is the missing number. Results are good. For whatsoever reason, oil companies are fiddling with inventories this time. Maybe they are piling up inventories just in case the war worsens and the crude becomes very costly. Now side effect, next quarter there should be bumper results. Now of course there are too many variables. A new tax could be levied, crude may become costlier or there could be extremely severe winters in December, January because of which the heating oil prices will go up. So there is a lot that can determine the fate of these companies. The biggest calamity of the day, I already mentioned lower circuit about indecent yesterday. The lower circuit was 10% that was hit at the first tick. Then it was revised to 15% that was done. Then it was revised to 20% that also done. Indecent was here yesterday. It is no longer in the top 10 banks in the country. It is here. I have been talking a lot about silver. A lot of people don't want to buy silver. Five US banks face billions in losses as silver prices spike hits short sellers hard. Lot of banks are short on silver. They are caught with silver going to lifetime highs nearly. They have no option but to book losses, which means buy at market rates to settle their shorts. Also one more thing later in the video in my buy sell, the whiteboard is back today. One of the most important topics right now which is being discussed where are FIs heading if they are selling so much? There is some data right now which is suggesting they are headed towards Japan. Now, I would not believe this data till rupee breaches 86. Also note gold is at an all time high. When was the last rally? Pandemic. This was percentage wise nearly 100% gain. And in absolute amount gold has actually run up the same amount already. Once the uncertainty is done, that is where gold either comes down or consolidates. Silver has a similar graph, just that it is steeper. Even the current graph is way steeper than gold. Silver also is at an all time high. Today's Nifty heroes, ITC, Access Bank, HUL, TCS, Sun Pharma, HCL Tech, Tech Mahindra and HDFC Bank are the stocks in green. And today 11 stocks were up, only 39 down. What was down most? Indescent Bank of course. Reliance was in the bottom, LNT, Adani Enterprises and NTPC. Nifty 50 also, 8 stocks up, only 42 down. Torrent Pharma was the best performer, Godrej Consumer, Pidilite, United Spirits and Macrotech, they were at the top. What was at the bottom? Adani Energy, Adani Total, IOC, BHEL, Canara Bank. This is a familiar figure for this week, only a tail, very little body. Software was up but very little. What was down most? The entire oil and gas pack. Look at oil. All red. Big reds. Bigger reds. These are the top oil marketing companies. The other sector which was completely red was automobile. Not a single green that to high volumes. The consumption pack was looking still okay. ITC led the charge today, 2.2% up markets liked the results. Adani Wilmer was down and the alcohol stock, associate alcohol fell a lot, but that's a very minuscule stock. On the other side, the other alcohol stock, Radico Khetan, hit a lifetime high. The percentage column of Nifty will not give you the idea of the extent of damage to retail portfolios today. Nothing unusual in this graph, Nifty down whole day, just 1% down. Nothing unusual in Bank Nifty, 1.4% down. Nothing abnormal in Reliance Fall. TCS did not go anywhere. ICICI a little up. This is not where the action was. Indescent, 19% down. 
IRFC is 70% away from its 52 week high. There was some confusion with some users yesterday. If our stock is at 100 and it falls 33%, that is 66, it needs to go up 50%, not 33% to reach the 100% levels. That's a standard nomenclature for percentage prices when you talk about distance to 52 week high or low. Compared to Indusind, the other falls look minuscule today, but IRFC, PFC, Bank of Baroda, PNB, all were down. Results of Bank of Baroda were good. IT was doing okay, no big falls. Four stocks are in the 95 to 100% zone. Persistent came under profit booking. Auto, everything on the red side, not a single tick of green. Maruti, Mahindra, Hero Motors, Exide. The falls were on big volumes. That's a bit concerning. People trying to exit auto right now. BL and solar industries were up a bit, but most of the defense pack was also on the red side. See, Mazgaon Dock, Cochin Shipyard, GRC, everything down 4 to 5%. Six companies in the red, Mazgaon Dock is about to enter the red zone. This straight line means lower circuit. Hindustan Zinc was punished today down 5.5%, Vedanta 3% down, Hindustan Copper 7%, Sale 5%. These are really large cuts. This is people cleaning out their portfolios. Not a good sign. The volumes are good. Edible consumption, Radico Khitan hit a new high today. Nestle is in the red. Look at volumes of Radico, 10.2x. HUL recovered a bit today. 1% up, but Trent was down, Titan was down, Colgate down 4%. I believe this is mostly because of the demand compression in rural India. Investment pack, only Nippon AMC was in the green. In fact, it opened very high up. So did Motilal Oswal. But as soon as Nifty cracked, they all came down. Big cracks. Literally a synchronized fall in all investment stocks at the same time. MCX is the only green stock now. Four reds in oil and gas, Oil India, MRPL, Chennai Petro, Adani Total. Each and every stock was below the line. Not a good sign at all when the line is going downwards. Similar story for power stocks. Tata Power down 4%, NTPC down 3.2% and we have a century. FI is crossed the infamous 1 lakh mark. DI is just 3000 crore more. Nifty, fifth consecutive day this entire week, Nifty has been red, down 0.9% today, Nifty Bank 1.5% down, IT a little 0.25, but biggest cracks were in energy 2.2%, next 50 1.5% and auto 2%. Now Indigo has reported losses, crude is low, occupancy is one of the highest. What do you need for an airline to make money? We all heard about Indusind, Bank of Baroda Q2 results, net profit rises 23%. JNK Bank Q2 results, net profit rises to 559 crore. I'll talk a little about JNK Bank in the nugget section today. There is something special about it. The net income also grows to 34,000 crore. Bandhan Bank clocks 30% year on year growth, though NPAs have worsened. So it is not that the problem is systematic across the board. Gold and silver have both corrected a bit. Bitcoin also is a little down. Brent and rupee are where they were yesterday. And Tesla's stock is traveling in Elon Musk's rocket right now. That was up 22% yesterday. Alright, the whiteboard is not sell, it is buy today. Markets were looking oversold. I don't know what will happen next week. We could see entire week of falls, but I bought Motilal. 100 ETF. Two, three weeks back, I had released my video on SWPs. This is my attempt to build an ETF portfolio, which I'll use for SWPs. So whatever I'm selling or a little bit of profit booking, I'm moving to this particular ETF right now. I'll choose one or two more ETFs also. This is the top 100. I'll probably choose something which is top 50 something also. NTPC, I saw some value. This is one stock that was missing in my portfolio in the long run. I bought one unit only. One unit means one lakh. That's the minimum I buy. I bought Angel One, CAM results on Monday along with KFintech. I bought Motial Oswal. I bought Nippon Life AMC. Now Satin, which I had sold earlier this week, I was getting it 15, 20 rupees cheaper. So I bought a bit of it back and I averaged down on JNK Bank. It is in deep losses in my portfolio. 
I'll talk about it in the nugget section a little more. Nothing sold overall an investment day. Now you'll probably recall why I sold few days back a lot where this whiteboard was used for sell. At times you have to cut the finger to save the arm. Whatever cash was realized that was useful today. When I sold, I was not sure whether the markets will go down or up. It was a risk I took, a calculated one. I also did some options trade. All three were successful. Yesterday I had bought Pidilite. It was in loss, but today it turned profitable. I bought a bit more of Infosys. It turned green. I bought some put options of Indescent when the circuit was released before anyone else could react and made a little money. I didn't try it much. Last year, one lakh. 2,228 crores that was the sale 107 754 no problems as such the total income is similar no problem with cost of material if you are selling 5,000 crore more then you spend a little more on buying the crude excise duty I believe this also includes windfall tax so a little higher employee benefit no change finance cost is fine depreciation is fine other expenses 600 crores higher and change in inventory minus 7,800 became 4,300. Remember in MRPL's case, a minus entry had turned plus. Here, a minus entry of a large extent has turned into minus entry of a smaller extent. The impact is same. As a result, the total expenses have increased by 12,000 crores, while sales have increased by about 5,000 crore only. 7,000 crore, where will you hide? So net profit, nearly 6,000 crore, that vanished. As a result, the EPS vanished. I don't think it's a bad result. Now let me take you to JNK. Before I talk about the stock, let me tell you why I'm talking about the stock. Between JNK and Ladakh, both of which are union territories, JNK Bank has about 1,000 branches. Because of whatever has happened in last few decades, there is no other private bank present in these two union territories with these many branches. So as the economy opens in these two union territories, as the economy stabilizes, as life stabilizes, where will people bank? JNK Bank also has a subsidiary which deals with investment banking. It is small right now, but it will increase when people have money, when people have aspirations, when the region is stable. Now this is union territory, so it is under the control of central government. It will not be having any problem. Right now JNK Bank is owned by governors of respected union territories. I don't expect that status to change at all. So I don't expect any disturbance because of the tussle between state government and central government here. So hopefully JNK Bank will benefit from the repositioning complete JNK, including JNK and Ladakh. Now in this particular quarter, the interest earned increased from 2764 crores to 3123 crores. The other income was higher as well. Operating expenses were more or less similar because branches can't change overnight. Total expenditure not very high. Net profit increased from 381 to 552 crores. The EPS was 3.72. It has increased to 5.02. Now, as the bank expands, there could be some capex, but 1000 branches are a lot. So this EPS could rise rapidly or the interest income will rise as well as expenses. The EPS may not rise too much for some quarters. Still, that will be good because eventually this EPS could become something like a 1015 also per quarter, which is the annualized EPS right now. So this should be a good long term bet maybe. I don't know whether I'll keep it for long term. Hope this angle of analyzing a bank was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Have a fantastic weekend.